Cinco de Mayo, also called Anniversary of the Battle of Puebla, a holiday celebrated in parts of Mexico and the United States in honor of a military victory in 1862 over the French forces of Napoleon III. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Bienvenido a Jump Pack Cooking. Mi nombre es Chef Ray, Mr. Donero, baby. Today, we're doing a muy delicioso, the famous video. Video tacos, consume, the soup with the flipification it's gonna have the flavorification to the max it's gonna taste good with the dipification and the crispification this is a whole nother situation the smack delicious single de mayo right around the corner me amigos this is another episode jam packed cooking let's eat 40 vamanos Welcome back, man. You know Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. Amigos, I celebrate it to the max. I'm the biggest black skin you know, baby. <laughs> so we doing the famous video taco. Straight out of LA, straight out of Mexico. We're gonna start with some chuck rolls right down on the flat top. Ain't nothing basic about it. No base ability. The chuck rolls right down. No base ability. Normally, it's probably not a part that you see in the process, but this is jam pack cooking. And ain't nothing basic about us. So we're going straight down like that and right up top. We're going to call it maybe a tablespoon, but we're going to put enough black pepper and salt and garlic, SPG. And of course, we got to hit it with the magic dust. Big Smokey, BBQ.com for your magic dust. So listen, what we want to do here on these steaks, we're going to get them caramelized on the outside, and it's just going to add that extra depth of flavor, the flavorification. I don't know if you ever had video tacos, it's not your basic taco. This is next level taco, so when I say taco, it's not the same. Basically, we're going to build this with these chuck rolls. All we want to do is put a little crispification on the outside of these steaks. We want the depth of flavor to get on up there. It's about five pounds of chuck rolls. There's going to be enough flavor in these chuck rolls that's coming out this consomme. The soup, the broth base, our dipification. <laughs> this is gonna pick up a lot of flavors out this broth. Gonna have some chicken base, garlic, onions, and all type of flavors that we are gonna pound into this broth to take it to the next level of flavorification. It's not an expensive cut of meat, so you know what that means. You have to cook it down. You have to cook it for a long period of time. One, two, three hours, whatever much time you got. As long as it, it break down, it's able to straight apart, and we can put a little choppification on it, Get it on these tacos, okay? Okay. On these chuck rolls, that's all we looking for. A little crispification on the outside, and start the pr cooking process, build another depth of flavor. This is vital because we don't have the beef bone today, but we do have beef bone soup. I'll show y'all about it. Listen, this is what we're gonna do, starting off. Let's go ahead and get you tell it already wanna fall apart. Look good enough to eat already. <laughs> Corn asada, beef. Let's go inside this broth. We got about 15, 20 cups of water in this pot, in this large pot. Two steaks down in there. This broth is basically built with the Samal chili, the uh, Wahil chili, the dried chilies that we're gonna get down in here. About 10 of these, 10 to 12. If you like it more spicy, add more, but this is a mild chili. This is a great chili, it's soft, so you know it's not old. It's got the freshification. We got about 12 of those going in this dish. We de-seeded them, pulled the seeds out. It's not gonna give you the, the spice to the max. No spicification to the max on this one, but flavorification, yes indeed. To that, we're gonna add some whole onions. We hit the onions, we peeled them a little bit, and you know, just so that flavorification can get up out of there. And we're gonna drop a couple of these medium-sized whole onions in there. And we got to go with the garlic. We took the tops off once again just to get the flavorification up out of there for the Cinco de Mayo birria. All these flavors are gonna build this broth. This is gonna be a rich broth. Some that when you dip them birria tacos in, look at that. Carrots wanna get in there already. But that was green onions, scallions, whatever you wanna call it, but that's, that was three stalks of scallion. 10 bay leaves going in. And this next step is optional. I got a lot of amigos that's deep into the Mexican culture. Don't leave these out. If you want that flavorification to the max, what we did, we peeled some carrots, fresh carrots, and diced them ahead. We got about 10 carrots that we peeled. This is half of them going in to start this soup off. So we got about three tablespoons of chicken base going in there. Then we got a tablespoon of salt going in. Normally I would throw me some beef bones in here. Today we don't have it. I couldn't, I mean, you know, we quarantine, quarantine, locked down. But the alternative that's gonna give you that same amount of flavor, these people's not sponsoring me or nothing, but I like using it. This is good stuff. 
try it out if you don't have the beef bones. This is about 31 ounces of this beef bone broth. We're gonna put the whole thing in now. We're gonna do half because we adding some more just in case our liquid drop. We wanna make sure everything is submerged. We're gonna cover this up, boil it for about an hour and check the tenderness of this roast. Hopefully it'll break down pretty quick and won't take all day. We wanna take our time and let those flavor build in this broth. This is gonna make your consomme. This is gonna make your soup. This is gonna make your dipification for your bit of your tacos. Let that go for about an hour. I almost forgot to tell you, this is not traditional. Like, this is my take, our span, the JPC gang way. It's gonna give you that little extra, something different, extra depth of flavor that's all the way up there. I mean, this is beyond to die for. We got one bell pepper, sauteed bell pepper that's going in to make the consume. Real quick, we're gonna make us some hot chili oil. This is what we're gonna crispify them better your tacos with. Check this out, we got about a cup and a half of oil here. And we're gonna get some of these Wajillo chilies down just to flavor the oil to give it that essence as soon as you drop them chilies in there you can start smelling that oil you can smell them chilies in that oil and you know this is going to be a good batch here that quick you can see the way that oil you change the colors and it went from the base ability to living this life like it's golden you don't want to burn these let's go ahead and pull them out so we got about four dried wahio chilies and some old spices and that's gonna make this this chili oil next level i'll leave the recipe that for this chili oil down in the description so right on top of this mixture we're gonna get that flavorification oil right down and what it's gonna do is gonna start to cook those chilies and herbs and spices that's in there and take the flavorification to the max i mean you can see the color change right away this is not just it's not something super spicy it's not super spicy but it's super flavorful the longer this sit the better it get if you love spice this is it right here you got all these herbs and spices in here that's gonna take this to the next level this is the spicification baby we building these flavors to the max getting ready for our big fiesta right here on jam pack cooking it's your boy chef ray mr money let's go check on our meat man been about an hour and a half maybe an hour 45 minutes you see we lost sunlight fire warning this here is flavorification to the max this is gonna be one of the biggest fiesta betty or betty or taco taco you ever know baby wait a minute what you want me to knock your some off <laughs> that's how you want that meat you want to be able to straight apart just like that with that fat hanging wahio peppers coming out right into the food processor they refortified rehydrated got the wet wet they're not dry anymore we're gonna get them right down into the food processor or your blender or whatever you have whatever you have to blend these peppers up take some of my broth put it down in the food processor uno dos tres <laughs> We want to break down this out to a puree. We don't want no lumps or none of that. We want it smooth, silky, because when we get it back into this sauce, this is going to be a main base for our consomme, our soup base. This is going to add that, that extra colorification. <laughs> this is going to add that color, that red color that everybody know and love. That's what we're looking for, baby. It's nice, silky. Everything is broke down. It's got that beautiful color. Go ahead and get all of this to the consomme. It's going to give it that richness, that color. A little spice, I don't want to leave none of that behind. So what we're going to do is get some of this broth. Everything is in the pot. We have our chilies in. The longer it go, the better it get. I mean, this is going to be slurp delicious. Let's make some tacos, baby. Bit of your taco. Freshly made, done in 60 seconds. You know how we move. We need them on a flat top. We got that right here, baby. So let's get some tacos down. But look, that's that hot chili oil we made. So here's the move. Dip it in that, in that oil that's sitting up top from all that fat that's rendered. Take it down, get you about half in, just like that, on the flat top. We're gonna go down with our cheese, so our cheese can start melting first. We got a mozzarella and hoaca blend right here. That's two uh, melting cheese. These gonna melt real good and be ooey gooey, you know how it go. Go down with our meat. Now you can you can separate that beef, that fat and everything, but I happen to like the fatty parts. Go ahead and fold them tacos. Hot chili oil. We're gonna drizzle some right up top on these tacos. <laughs> yes, Lord. What we doing now, we putting that crispification on these tacos. It's gonna have that maximum crispification. See that cheese already starting to melt. 
and get that crispification on it, baby. You want that crispification out there. If you ain't got that crispification, you ain't doing something right. All right, JPC gang, we ready, baby. Look at here. We got the Betty of Tacos. Consomme, the soup base, the dipification, chili verde, hot chili oil. You know it. I got the recipe in the description. Go get it right now. And while you're down there, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Because Cinco de Mayo is up on us. Yes, Lord. It's got the poolification. Mmm. -hmm. That's what you want, that good stringy pool. We got to get a taste of this. Come here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know, I need a little squeeze of lime. Mm-hmm. Chili oil. A little bit of that chili oil. Chili verde. You got the crispification, flavorification, drippification. What else do you want? We got to go into the consomme. This is what it's all about. The soup base. This is what it's, this is all about. That bed of your taco. Right into that soup. Make sure you get a good dump. <laughs> Come here. Please hold. Stop what you're doing and meet you with the dipification and when it give you that look, flip it with the drip. Go get that right now. You hear me? Me and amigo. Poor favor. Go get it. Muy delicioso. I mean, no cap. What can I say? We got Cinco de Mayo up on us. Corona getting off of us. Modelo on the way. Ice cold. Make sure you up, get back washing your hands still. Cinco de Mayo come around, you watching this today is Sunday. You got time to go to the market, wherever you need to go. Go get these ingredients right now, and you make this for Cinco de Mayo. My friend, I appreciate you for watching. I love you for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Be a part of the notification game. Till next time, peace and love. We going up. Listen, 10,000 subs, we're giving away a granddaddy. Had to take somebody on the trip right after this corona. $1,000. Smash that subscribe button. Watch this video from beginning to the end. Because that's what's going to get you in the winners, baby. We got to know you're holding on and staying strong.